What's up, YouTube? Honeybee here. It is August 19th. That is a Sunday, currently 2.33 p.m. Eastern Time for me, meaning that the European Online Injustice Pro Series Tournament has officially concluded. We do have uh, the results here for anyone that does want to go ahead and uh, actually check it out. There was a lot of good matches with really great commentary from Ketchup and Mustard. You can go ahead and check that out in the description below. I'll put a link to the Twitch archive of that. Uh, but with that said, let's go over some of the results, how it affects IPS points, because this is what I like to do and I do it all the time. So, um, let's go ahead and start off by just saying online EU is this tournament right here. It is now concluded, meaning that there are only two events left to gain points for the Injustice 2 Pro Series. Um, that will be online NA East, which is um, the East North America East uh, for version of this tournament. So that's going to be on September 9th um, to 11th that weekend. And then there's also SoCal, SoCal Regionals, which is happening the weekend right after. And that's going to be the last tournament that is open to everyone. The online East, um, North America East, that's only available to, to the players in North America living on the East Coast region or whatever because we haven't had that yet the west one did theirs europe did theirs uh east side hasn't done theirs yet so we have that there is also northern arena which is the canadian only tournament and this definitely will have an effect on the what happens in the pro series because um to my knowledge if someone qual if someone wins northern arena but they're already qualified for Injustice Pro Series, meaning right now it looks like Bio, Heate, or myself, if any of us were to win, um, 13th in IPS would end up getting that additional spot. So it's going to be very interesting to see if one of the three of us wins and gives a spot to the 13th in IPS, or maybe an actual Canadian is like is going to be able to represent the Canadian North Northern Arena uh, tournament like maybe gun show is going to win because right now he's not going to qualify through ips uh points he's only going to qualify through this or if he were to go to last chance qualifier i believe he could do that as well um but with that said right now this tournament has concluded and let's go into the results of what happened with irish mantis taking first place in the entire tournament looking incredibly strong he actually um i didn't watch everything but i did manage to watch winners finals where irish mantis took on tekken master and ended up beating tekken master i believe it was 3-1 um he beat tekken master's Adam, the Adam, you beat him twice, and that's supposed to be a very, very bad matchup for Atrocitus. And um, then Tekken Master switched to Starfire, I think took a game off Mantis, and then Mantis won the next one. So Mantis won uh, Winner's Finals um, against Tekken Master 3-1, and then Tekken Master ended up losing uh, a second time in Loser's Finals. He ended up losing to Happy Pal, um, where I believe the matchup was something along the lines of Atrocitus, Flash, I think... Yeah, it was Atrocitus Flash, Happy Pal won the first two matches, and then Tekken Master switched to... Who did he switch to? I want to I say Starfire, but I feel like that might be wrong. I don't remember anymore. It, it was either 3-0 or 3-1, but all that matters is Happy Pal beat Tekken Master, and now Happy Pal ends up taking second place and uh, with Mantis first. So this is the way the points are going to be for, for the online EU uh, with Mantis, Happy Pal, Tekken Master. Definitely, this does shake things up quite a bit when it comes to the points. Dizzy and Shark Teeth are down here, and they're not really going to be able to, to have much effect on the points so let's go into how it's changed um this says a top 77 you can see here these are the top like 12 people right now in the points before it was adjusted i've gone ahead and shown here what it looks like now highlighted players are the ones that competed so you can see that top seven remains untouched um with tweety in the lead heyate in seventh place but i have now been uh, surpassed by Irish Mantis since he won and he was previously at uh, 100 points here he got 125 points for winning and now he's at 225 points so at this point Irish Mantis is in an incredibly great position I would say he's like 225 I think technically speaking 
technically it might not be a guarantee but it's i i think it's um i think it's 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 very safe um my my spot right now in ninth i have 210 points while it's not a quote-unquote guarantee it's still an incredibly good spot because the thing is is uh the east uh tournament is going to come up um at the rate it looks right now if silver eye for example were to win it he would bump himself up to 250 points and uh be up here and then he could potentially pass me assuming i don't get any points from the uh on online na east tournament we have gur who's over here with 100 with 60 points if he were to win the whole thing which is definitely possible he would bump himself up to 185 points and then he'd he'd be past Tekken Master and Happy Pal. So going into the online NA East, we'll talk about that a little bit more, but it's going to be a very big tournament. Um, Tekken Master and Happy Pal are now tied both in 10th spot with 175 points. This is because Tekken Master was previously at uh, 110 points. He got third place, so 65 points for, for that. He's at 175. Happy Pal was at 8, 95 points plus 80 points for second place, so he's also at 175. Scar is now rounding out up, rounding out the top 12 with 145 points. So Scar right now is in a very, very, like, dangerous position, I would say. And this is because one of the main things is that he doesn't have the opportunity to get any additional points from an online tournament um, because he already did his he already did the online uh, north america west tournament so he's gonna have to sit on the sidelines same thing as nubcake so both of them are gonna have to sit on the sidelines for the online na east tournament and kind of just hope that people up here uh make it that are they're allowed to so like such myself and then all these guys if we were to make top eight then scar would keep his one his 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 12th spot but if if silver eyes for example makes top eight he'll either he'll either get seventh and tie with scar or he'll do better than that and then pass scar so that's a pretty interesting situation same thing as big d but from what i've heard big d actually might not even be able to compete online um so that's kind of a gonna fuck him up gun show is in a position right now where he can do the online na east thing and definitely should because uh, if he were to win that then he would be with same position as mantis where he bumped himself up to 225 points and then he'd be in a really great position the only thing is the online na east is going to be super stacked i'm definitely thinking it is going to be the most stacked online tournament if we compare it to the online na west and the european tournament because this is going to have all these guys that are already in the top going to be competing uh, as well as myself as well as rye as well as probably gun show um as well as forever king katana prime is going to be there gur is going to be there buffalo is going to be there so all these those guys are going to be in it plus more so it's going to be a very very stacked tournament but as far as what this means going forward um right now nubcakes is out of the top 12 so he has to go to scr and i feel like at this point um 200 points might be like that range that you're gonna have to to aim for to try to get in so like i i would think nubcakes is kind of gonna need like a, a top five at scr in order to qualify online na east i think is going to be huge definitely most important for silver eye out of anyone i would say and then him and gun show over here and gur uh but the thing about gur is that gur basically needs to win the whole thing to have a shot if gur were to get second and get 80 points he'd be at like 140 which 140 is still um outside of the top 12 so gur kind of needs to win the whole thing it's going to be very very difficult um but silver eye he kind of needs, um, what does he need? Like, if he could get an extra 50 points from that, he'd be in a really good position, would, which would be fourth place. So, like, if Silver Eye could get fourth place in the online NA East, then he, he, he could definitely be in a much more comfortable position. It's just that, going back to what I said before, it's going to be very, very difficult when you have people like Tweety, Bio. Uh, oh, actually, Rewind is not going to be in there. But you, you are going to have... Tweety Bio, Samij, Sonic Fox, Gross, uh, Hayate, myself. It's going to be a definitely, definitely very, very stacked. So that's kind of what it's looking like um, going into SCR. For me, um, I think 
in terms of the online NA East, for me, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna hope that I do well, and I, I'm gonna hope that whoever um, does better than me is someone that's already ahead of me in points, so that like more people can't pass me. Um, right now, I'm sitting in ninth, like I'm, I'm. 35 points over like whoever's below me which is both of these guys happy pal i don't know if he's gonna be getting any more points this season or tekken master i'm not sure if they're going to scr but um i'm definitely i'm sure they're going to be looking to to go to scr so that they can maintain their spots because if they if they go and they get a couple more points to like make it harder for people below them to join then it is really just going to be a race to get that 12th spot or to get the 12th 13th spot assuming um uh, one of one of the people in the top 12 already wins northern arena meaning myself bio or hayate because then the 13th would qualify so that's kind of what it's looking like right now um i think if you have um a hundred ish points like i think if you have a hundred points or um maybe like if you're silver eye like i think a top five top five at ser should be enough assuming um other people below you don't do better but yeah i would say top five at SCR is probably good enough if you have like a hundred or more points or maybe 120 maybe I think like man silver eye and nubcakes I feel like they both need top fives at SCR uh scar I feel like he needs at least a top eight if he gets 45 45 points for seventh then you know then you're gonna be at 190 that's gonna be pretty solid but if you're under if you're under like 100 or under you're gonna need like top threes pretty much to to have a chance to, to to do really well like a top four could potentially be okay for these guys here but probably not eh, like maybe a top four might be enough for these guys but like if you're like here you're gonna basically need a top three i would say if you're like one of these guys if you're gur you're gonna need like a top well yeah a top three i think Ooh, that's 130 points that might be enough um but yeah if you're here and you're still competing like you're gonna need like top two or to probably win the whole thing if, if you wanna if you wanna qualify so that's kind of what it's looking like last chance qualifier um i i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on with theo if he's planning to compete in that or not but he's he would be someone to look out for in last chance the buffalo as well i don't know if like ominous is actually done or not gur is probably gonna end up being at last chance qualifier um deoxys as well king as well dizzy potentially so the, the last chance qualifier is definitely going to be pretty stacked big d could certainly end up going there because i don't know what his plans are in terms of going to scr or competing online if it's even a possibility for him at this point but that's kind of what it's looking like in terms of points i feel like um right now this is like i would say is like good enough that you can feel comfortable at 210 points below that yeah it's it's definitely getting scary the points are definitely getting very very high and people um like in my position i'm or like these positions are really just gonna hope that the people above us um continue to do well and soak up those points because otherwise it definitely is going to be possible to get past like online na east is going to be a crazy stack tournament and it's, it's either going to be a tournament that I feel will shake things up a lot or it's a tournament where nothing is going to change because the top, the guys at the top are just going to end up soaking up all the points. It's, it's going to be a very interesting situation, I feel, in terms of points. But that's kind of what it's looking like. Next event, um, for me anyways, it's going to be Northern Arena Finals. Hopefully I can win that because if i win that i'm 100 percent guaranteed and i get a nice chunk of change as well but in terms of like a uh, to tournament that's going to directly affect points we're going to have online na east september 9th to 11th weekend and then the weekend right after that is ser and that's going to be the final one for points so make sure you guys uh check that out tune in like comment subscribe on the video and let me know what your thoughts are and thanks for watching i'll see you next time